All right, so this is a tutorial for using code blocks. Specifically, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you how to have independent programs inside the same workspace. This is something that I was trying to figure out how to do and I couldn't get a straight answer on it. I tried to go to the code blocks website to go to their forum. Um, you can see here it's codeblocks.org. When you click forums, it will take you to their forum, but if you click anything here, it'll tell you that you don't have access obviously. So if you try to register, it takes you back to the home page, but just puts forums in the URL. But there is no actual forum that I'm able to see or access. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but so that wasn't much of a help. If you are looking to, you're probably a, a new programmer if you're asking this question, but I noticed when I was searching on Google, I, I couldn't really get a straight answer to this. People were saying, how do you have two main files? And I understood what they were asking, but it would seem like a lot of people were like, well, you can't have that. And that's true if you're inside the same project. The answers weren't wrong, but they I don't think that the people answering the questions really understood what was being asked. So I'm gonna show you how to have two main files. What you will wanna do is you'll want to start with a new project. Go to console app, C++, and it's gonna to save to this file path. Um, I made a folder just for example. And we'll call this one program one. And go to finish. So here's the default main file. And we're gonna call this one, this is program one. We're going to build it and run it. So this is program one. Something that I am trying to do is I don't want to open a bunch of different files. And that's what I think other people were trying to avoid. If you go here and you add a new file, add a new file, um, we'll call it a CC, C++ source file, excuse me. We'll go to next, next. You cannot call the file main and the path would be the same path as where you're saving this one but you can't name it main it'll create an error and I think that's what other people were interpreting the question as what you can do instead is you can go to projects console app go and same thing again but just name it something different For people that got this far, um, you've probably done this experimenting perhaps. Name that second program. And you probably ran into an issue where when you close this, it doesn't save the workspace. So when you open it back up, um, it opens up these programs individually and this is no longer here. What you need to do is you need to actually save this as a um, workspace. So you're saving the workspace as when you open it the default workspace has nothing in it so underneath the code blocks folder you can put this wherever you want i'm going to put it in the chapter six functions and we're going to call this chapter six practice and so now that workspace is saved in order to run these independently it will compile the last one that you built so if you build program one, it'll run program one. Close that, build program two. And this is the second program. So now when you close this, let's say we exited code blocks, inside of your chapter two functions, your practice you see right here, the workspace. And here's the individual programs. If you open just this up, it'll open up like that. This is program one. But a lot of people don't want to do that. So let's say you closed code blocks completely and you came back. If you wanted to open both of those up as you had them, you would actually open up the entire workspace. And it'll include these programs in it. And these programs, the path can be anything. Um, whatever you set the path up when you created the project. 
Mine just happen to be all together, so it's organized. And there you go. Here's your first main. This is program one. Build your second one. Run it. This is the second program. So I think this is what people were asking, and this is something that I want to do when I explore the programming languages. I don't want to have to open a bunch of different files or have a bunch of different examples in one program. I would want to be able to have, let's say, a function that shows me how to print to the screen in this. And then in program two, I would want a function that calculates, let's say, the square root. But again, I don't want to have to open a bunch of files. I just want to be able to build it and then run it or come up here and build this and run that example, play with it, change the code, test it out without interfering with any of the other projects in here. And then when I'm done, I want to be able to save it and then come back to it, set up exactly as I left it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Let me know if you have any suggestions or questions.